Welcome back to the channel. We are your Colorado real estate family. Today is going to be a fun video because we're taking you to our home city and telling you a little bit about what it's like to live in Thornton, Colorado. All right, let's go. If you don't know who we are, Chelsea and Pete here, and if you're interested in moving to Colorado, Denver, or any of the surrounding cities, we're the two that you need to know. So do yourself a favor, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, because we put out two videos a week on Wednesdays and Saturdays, and you're not gonna wanna miss it. Along those lines as well, guys, licensed real estate agent here. So we love making these videos even more so. We love helping you out with your real estate needs. So if you're looking at moving into Colorado, purchasing some real estate, give us a ring. We're gonna put the phone number in below, right below, right there, give us a call. If you call that number, you're gonna get us and us only, no one else. All right, cool, let's go and dive in. Before we dive in, sorry I have to wear glasses today. <laughs> uh, if you uh, tuned into a couple of our videos or a couple videos back, I got eye surgery and my eyes are killing me today. It's bright. Super sensitive, it's bright out here in Colorado and so uh, wearing the sunglasses. I love making on co eye contact with the video, but today it's just not gonna happen. He's doing the cool, <laughs> cool guy vibe. The cool guy vibe, right? Cool Come guy in. vibe. Cool Joe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is gonna be a really easy video for us because we get to tell you about our favorite city, which is the city that we call home, yep. Thornton, Colorado. So the first thing we wanna talk about is the commute. Yeah, the commute. And so, like, pretty much where is Thornton now, right? So, Denver is the big driving city as to why people are moving into Colorado. So, why the hell would I want to know about Thornton, Colorado? Well, it's actually a pretty easy commute all the way down to Denver. It's still considered the Denver metro area. So, if you want to hop on I-25, which is our main highway that goes north and south here in the Denver metro area, it's only going to take, what, like 20 to 30 minutes, depending on traffic, depending on what the rush hour is like, because, of course, in the morning time and then in that early afternoon, you do hit that rush hour a little bit. So, so it'll, it'll differ. It is is two o'clock two o'clock on a Tuesday 2 p.m. Mountain Standard Time <laughs> yes on a Tuesday <laughs> and I just looked up how long the commute is and it's 25 minutes 25 minutes so it's really not that bad, not bad. and honestly like say if you want to go a little bit further west towards the mountains you're gonna have more of a commute like from Arvada as opposed to Thornton just because it's a direct shot all the way down right. also depending on how far off the highway you really are yeah and the other thing too is I don't know about you guys but highway driving highway yeah. driveway driving is so much easier than I said like going stopping go in the, in the traffic lights and all of that so just like Peter had said some of the inner cities where there isn't really a straight shot it's gonna take a lot longer and you yeah. have all the stopping and the go like I would much rather do interstate driving anyway yeah. and we were always told because we talk with so many of you who are all around the country as we sit here and say you know what traffic in Colorado is getting horrible it sucks and you guys are like you don't know anything yeah, they're about like, traffic you don't know what traffic means and so, like, you're yeah probably right. <laughs> yeah that's true it's just from what we grew up with yes it has become a lot worse than, than uh, yeah what we're used to back in the day yeah. uh what is this traffic traffic that's some kind of national holiday ha ah. If you so. don't know Peter, Peter's a fifth generation native here to Colorado. And so, you know, like it's very different from yeah. when like his grandparents or even was that before one, two, three, even before, right? Their parents. Yeah. So um, anyways, the other thing to um, remember is where we are in comparison to some of the other major yeah. cities. So we talked about Denver being the big one, but we are about 45 minutes away from Fort Collins. Yep. Um, and that's like in the heart of Fort Collins. Yeah, like, that's going downtown. That's like, like going downtown. It's probably what would you say like a 30 minute drive yeah. if you want to go out to Fort Collins exit. The yeah, exit. Like, yeah, like Harmony is like one of the um, closest exits into Fort Collins in a really yeah. great way to actually actually get into Fort Collins yeah. is one of my favorites. Um, it's only like 30, 35 minutes at the most. Yeah. Um, and so it's pretty close. Now, if you're going over to Boulder, we're also about a 30 minute drive to Boulder. So 25 minutes to Denver, 45 minutes to the heart of Fort Collins, about yeah. 30 minutes to Boulder. I, I really just feel like we're in a very centralized spot to some of the biggest cities um, here in Colorado. And so another thing to note too is in North Thornton, we have a tollway 470 and you could take that all the way over into like Superior area, which is on your way to Boulder. And so you might even be able to cut that time down a little yes. bit if you want to pay the money because the toll yes. here in Colorado is crazy expensive. We yes. actually, we took a trip out to uh, our, one of our properties in the Lake of the Ozarks and the toll there, what, what was it like? It's like 
75 cents. Yeah, it was like a dollar. And we drove for like an hour. And yeah. I'm like, what the hell? We if were you like, drive oh, for God. an hour on 470, you're paying like $100. So. <laughs> no, I think it's like 480 and you're going like five, three, yeah. four, five. Exits. It is like, insane like, how much they charge for our toll here. Yes. It's super unfortunate, but a lot of people still use it because they don't want to have to deal with that traffic in the morning yeah. commute to work. A lot of people being me. Yeah. Like Peter <laughs> will avoid it. He'll go 144th. Like that's one of the um, things that we use to go kind of west is 144th, actually east too. Like that's yeah. kind of our main road. Yeah. Um, going north and west that we use here from Thornton. Peter will take that all day long. I will totally jump on that <laughs> toll and pay 480 because it cuts off like 15 minutes of my drive time. It's great. Well, There's nobody on it. Yeah, no, ever. there's no one. Well, and another thing There's too it, is like, okay, so we'd like to travel. Okay, we've mentioned this many times in our videos. Going to the airport and we're those kind of people that like try to get oh, the first man. flight out in the morning. So it's like a five o'clock flight. And but so you wake up people. where we're like, we got this. We're going to wake up super early. We're going to make this happen. And we wake up like 30 minutes late. And we're like, oh, looks like we're taking like, the toll kidding, today. <laughs> we're taking the toll. I think we secretly do it on purpose so yeah. that we feel better about taking the toll because the other way is not as fast. Yeah, that's true. Anyways, it's, it's okay. that, well, it's, it's a lot of like ziggy, zaggy, everything else. So Ziggy, zaggy. Ziggy, zaggy. Okay, so <laughs> this isn't really commute, but we now have the luxury um, here in Thornton to have some light rail access. So talk about that's that. That's true. Yeah, and we've talked about the light rail so many times. Right now, the only station that we're really looking at in Thornton is the East Lake Station, but Thornton does have plans to expand the station up to 144th and then even up to Highway 7. Yes. So there is those plans in place. We do have some of that inside info though. One of our neighbors actually works for the commuter rail. That's the rail that's uh, the end line that's going north. And he says that although they're not working on the plans right now, there's a lot of discussion of starting that new leg from East Lake all the way up to 144th, having that light rail station right there too. So if you want to be in Thornton but you look, work in Denver, that's something to look forward to so that yeah. you can't commute down to Denver, don't have to deal with that traffic. Yeah, I mean, think about it. If you're like into the like, sports teams and all of that, being able to not have to drive in the city, like, we're not, well, actually, he does pretty good in the city <laughs> driving. I am a basket case. Like, I just, I don't know. It turns me around. It's like one-way street. I, I'm already pulled over. I'm already pulled over. Pull over farther, man. I can't pull over. Sir, I'm already pulled over. He's already pulled over. He can't pull over any farther. Yeah, I would rather ride yeah. a scooter or, like, take the light rail or whatever. So it's going <laughs> to just really open it up. Like, if you're into the sports teams, you can live in Thorn. Hop on the light rail. Go downtown. Enjoy a great night. Have a couple drinks. And then just catch the light rail back up. It's, it's just yeah. really nice. And we've never had that luxury up here and in the north area like we've never had that so that's exciting yeah super exciting okay number two that was a lot but i'm you have to know proximity because i think for the longest time even ourselves we thought thornton was so far oh yeah like growing up i remember we had like our, our prom or whatever at a convention center that's just near like on the east side of thornton we thought it was so freaking far away because we were <laughs> southwest so minster and we're like we got to go to 120th yes. and now 120th is almost like the mid mid south point on thornton so yeah it's actually crazy. that kind of reminds me of something let's say where thornton starts though because thornton is huge it now. is huge yeah so let's see where do you think what street east and west does thornton really start 104 so wait east and west is i-25 and then all the way out to i'd say quebec those are some good safe it's north and south probably like 84th on the 84th. south side and then Highway 7, 160th on the north side. Yeah, so, so if, we, it's if we could draw a square, large. even though we can't, because obviously these yeah, cities weave still... in and out. But I mean, that's pretty much the main, the main yeah. ones that we're looking at. Um, and then we'll kind of get into stick around because we're going to go over housing and we're going to kind of tell you a little bit about the houses and what they look like based on that area because it's so large and they're very different areas. Okay, All right. so let's get into the second thing. And the second thing is, um, oh, what is there to do? What, what is there, there to, to do, do in Thornton? Oh my gosh, yeah. okay, this is fun. This is where Thornton has shined so much these yes. last couple of years. This is where it literally it's just, it's blown up. Because before Thornton was just like, what is there to do in Thornton? Everyone yeah, would be like, Waterworld, and it's like, but Waterworld's not in Thornton. Yeah, so, it's very, it was it very was, residential. Yeah, there, was, there was like nothing here, right? Yeah. It was like a lot of suburbia, a lot of older houses and yeah. stuff. And they're like, what do we do in Thornton? But now there's yeah. a shit ton to do yes. in Thornton. Yeah. So the oldest and most obvious one is Margaret Carpenter Park. Yep. And I feel like that was the only thing to do in Thornton for yep. the longest time. Yeah. And um, they have this big field. Is it a big, it's like not a football field. It's literally just a field. It's just a, yeah, it's a huge field. We'll, we'll show some B-roll, kind of yes. showing you how big it is. But I mean, that's where they held all their events. They yes. have, they just did a huge 4th of July, you know, where they light off the fireworks and they have some tents up and great little festival down there where they do they Thornton the Fest. Winter Fest. Winter Fest. Thornton they do Halloween. Fest, Halloween. They decorate stuff. for Halloween. I mean, it is, it There's is the best one. of the best. Oh, for don't festivals. they have like some type of a, a harvest festival thing there yes, too or something like that? they have them all, all yeah. of them. Yeah. Um, we'll post a, a link down below for you, yeah. but they, like 
most things happen at Margaret yeah. Carpenter. It has so much space. They have so many fun vendors that come. We were actually a vendor there one time. Like, yeah. it's just really fun to set up a tent and like just collaborate with people and eat good food, like food trucks galore. Like, it is so much fun. Yeah. On top of that, they have a big old park for the kids. Yeah. They have a splash pad. They have um, obviously the rec center yeah. with a whirlpool, um, slides. Yeah. Uh, they do swim lessons there. Um, we did, didn't we do gymnastics there with with our? Son? We did gymnastics yeah. Yeah. and swim lessons. They start swim yeah. lessons at like six months. Yeah. So mm -hmm. Kingsley was just like. <laughs> just going to town. Um, and so lots of things to do there. They have a gym, obviously, in the rec, typical rec stuff. Um, you can get your membership. They now have a senior center that's mm -hmm. almost brand new. What, a couple, like a year or so old? Yeah, well, I think they built it around the same time they built Trailwinds, which is the second yes. rec center that they decided to build, which is further north. Yes. And so it's like... We have two rec centers. Car yeah, so Car Margaret Carpenter Rec is like further south. So it's south of 120, or what is it? 112. 112 yeah, in yeah, Colorado. And then, so then Trailwinds is further north. It's off of Holly and 136th. Hundred thirty six. Yeah, hundred thirty six, yep. and yeah. So it's they built that new rec center up there. So now they have a brand new rec center, more on the brand north side too. The newer version or the newer part of Thornton with a dog park. With a dog park. Yep. Um, and that one, I'm so surprised actually that Trailwind didn't do all the things that Margaret Carpenter has, but um, it still has all the really great um, brand new rec style yeah. or rec center style things. All, the, all the classes all the that you need to do. So they yes. have all the all the great little group um, activities for the kids. All the kids. All stuff. the little sports. You know, if you're yes. starting them out and all. All that so gymnastics Ooh, dance all those that's good things. a good one to mention um thornton has i9 sports it's really nice because if you are a parent and you want to get your kids into some sports but you're not really sure if they're going to like it and yeah. you don't want to spend all the money that the clubs make you spend yeah. um they have a thing called i9 in thornton that's one of the main areas that they um have games and stuff like that they have little things where you can do practice and a game on saturdays for six weeks or saturday it's like one day a week yeah you do the practice and the games the same day and they can try out all these different sports sports without a lot of the money commitment and a lot of the time commitment until you feel out like what that kid likes or whatever. So yeah. I-9 sports is a good thing um, to know about if you're a family. Uh, yeah, exactly. So then there's the obvious, uh, Top Golf. <laughs> that was probably the, the biggest. Peter. <laughs> okay, I'd say that's the biggest thing, but then even though it's so small, In and Out was the second biggest thing. Well, I don't know. I say they're kind of tied. Like everyone's like, oh my God, Top Golf's coming into Thornton. And then they're like, holy shit, In and Out's coming into Thornton. And so I, Thornton is just like, it's garnering all these great little spots that people want to go to. And then, of course, uh, the Outlet Mall, which we're sitting at right now in this great Outlet Park, which if you haven't noticed, there's not many kids here right not now. A lot of kids here. <laughs> and a big reason, we've talked about this in our last video, or it was a couple videos ago about the summertime in, in uh, Colorado. It's 97 degrees out right now, and so that equipment is super hot. Last thing you want is your kid to burn yourself, because uh, these are metal slides, guys. These metal aren't the slides. these aren't the plastic ones. These are like hardcore. Our kid like almost wrecked, or actually he did, he did wreck, wreck himself. Out. He wrecked. He out. almost broke his leg going down the slide, he and just so flew off the they're pretty of the slide. insane. But yeah, like I said, so the Denver Ellis is here. It's amazing. If it you're military, amazing. which I, you know, I'm a vet, 35% off in a lot of these shops, yes. and so it's super amazing to be able to come here and shop, do all your great things in the outlet mall. Yeah, Oakleys like $70 off guys. Couldn't believe how, it. How? How? Yep. <laughs> and I just like also what a wonderful thing for our vets like to be able to have some of those discounts. Yep. So um, okay what else? Let's see. Um, Summit. So we got Summit. Summit's yep. on 144th and uh, Washington. Washington. Yep. And so they have laser tag and bowling and yep. arcade and good food and I don't even know what else there. They uh, all kinds of like arcade. They have all the arcade stuff. Yeah. They have a nightlife there too so adults yes, you can go there. The and I'm pretty sure the bar is open until 2 a.m which is typical for most bars here in Colorado. Just kind of give you a heads up on that one. That one's walking um, distance. We can scooter that one. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> if you wanted to hop across I-25, although it's not Thornton, okay, it's Westminster, then you got Orchard, which is an outdoor mall over there as well, too. Guys, Orchard counts. I don't care. We are claiming it in Thornton. <laughs> Peter was like, that's not in Thornton. I'm like, I know, but it's literally right there. It's right like, there, yeah. If you cross over I-25, it's, it's right there. So we're counting yeah. it. And the reason we're counting it is because so many people come from Thornton over there, like, for sure shopping for the movie theaters yeah. for the splash pad they have summer concerts they have yeah. okay they have yoga with goats i have not <laughs> done that one i did do the yoga and margaritas um with three margaritas but yoga and goats apparently so well, and then christmas time we oh were blown away so this christmas. is a free event so they yes. have yeah they have santa there they have all these great events they have a band there playing christmas music oh. all this awesome they stuff the they have this well they have this thing where like the kid they write their letter to santa you put it in the Dropbox for Santa, you get a card back. A hand Santa thing. hand writes you back and you yes. get a gift card and it's like, yeah, we were so, so, we were like, holy so crap, sweet. this is amazing. We couldn't believe it. Free <laughs> pictures with Santa Claus. Yeah. Um, they have all these like, 
glow. Oh my gosh. The sprinkler just turned on behind you guys. This actually might be really nice. We're gonna get like misted. If we're looking a little sweaty, just bear with us. <laughs> and my Love glasses start fogging it. up and I start. <laughs> Love us through this. And if we're looking dewy, go with it because I think that's what people go for. Looking anymore. dewy? Is that Dewey, yeah, it's like a thing. I know, I know. Looking dewy. <laughs> like, you know, the dew. The morning dew. People like that. No? <laughs> I feel like that's a t shirt idea all in itself right there. Oh god. Okay. We're gonna be there next time you see Looking it. Looking dewy. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, are we have to cut this out? Okay, let's move on. All right, next, housing. Let's talk housing. about housing. So housing, so I'm really not going to go over to the price points because we do that quite a bit. If you are interested in the price points of the housing in Florida, it's right around in the 500s. I really only look up the numbers for this video. Biggest thing I want to talk about is the difference in housing in Thornton. And so yes. South Thornton, so we're pretty much talking like 120 is South. That's where all your older housing here is here in Thornton, Colorado. And we're, like, we're talking houses built in the 70s, 80s, um, even like in the early 90s. So that's pretty much where that housing's at. If you go from 120th up to 136, you start breaking into the late 90s into like the early 2000s. That's what that section really is. And then if you go for, uh, for the north, uh, north of 136, yes. that's where your newer builds are at. So we're talking like, I'd say like late 2010s all the way up in until right now because they're still developing yeah. if we go over to, to holly street they have a yes. bunch of brand new developments over there as well too and so it's just crazy how much different the, the housing goes and it's just because since Denver has grown out all these other cities are kind of moving a little further north because they're expanding north since the south side is already developed due to it being closer to Denver. yeah so back when when we're talking about when thornton seems so far yeah. thornton has changed so much and like it's funny because if you talk to like a Colorado native and they're not used to this area and they're like, oh, you're like, oh, I'm from Thornton. They're like, oh, okay, it's Thornton. And then you start seeing how much Thornton, like, if, like we even had people come and visit us. And they're like, holy moly, like this is not Thornton. Like this doesn't even feel like Thornton. Like well, it's yeah. so new. Well, and I'm going to tell you right now, guys, just to be transparent as possible, Thornton didn't have the best name back in the day. Everyone's like, oh, you live in Thornton? And it just didn't really have that rep where now it's yeah. like this new up and coming place that's pretty awesome to live. Yeah, and so when he talks about that a little bit, you know, we always talk about how it's very desirable to be as close to the mountains as possible. Well, yeah. Thornton was like one of the the first like kind of cities that was east of I-25 that seemed so far and it was kind of older. That's like yeah. that's the Thornton people remember. Now, which is pretty much 120th north, is almost all brand new and it is incredible. Like yeah. we just love it here. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just insane how much it's blown up and how popular it's becoming, you know, and, and so personally like we love Thornton. Yeah. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, I am hating to have these glasses on because if I you know. haven't noticed in all of my other videos, I talk with my eyes a lot. And so I feel like I just can't express myself enough to you. I'm like, I'm trying to look through the glasses, but it's just not. <laughs> if he starts to lean forward and get really close <laughs> to the like camera, I feel like I kind of want to see that a little bit, but weird. it's just, it's so freaking bright, and I'm like crying under these glasses. You're doing the bro vibe. Just uh, let it be. Okay. Just, People I'm, probably. I'm going to be the cool it. guy today. All right. Don't take and that just, to heart. He's advertising because we're at Orchard, and there he just go. got his glasses for Father's Day, <laughs> so he's advertising. If you only could see what was happening to the right of us, but they have a. Um, Bungee. It's like this slingshot thing where they jump and they got the bungees. The and, bungee yeah. with the trampoline, yeah. fun things. It's really cool over here. Okay, let's move in to uh, development. future development. Future development. Which, this is fun. Oh, it's crazy how much is developing in Thornton. So, yeah. majority of it, of course, is more North Thornton because that's where all the development is really happening. But they're putting in a lot of different, like, multi use um, kind of development. So, it was multi use. You got your retail, uh, light commercial, light industrial, some residential, mixed use residential. So, we're talking about multifamily and then also single family as well too um, they're putting a brand new school we just talked about yeah. all those houses that are building over on 144th and Holly they're putting a brand new K through it or pre K through a um, okay. magnet school which is you know a school for the gifted and talented they're putting a brand new uh, school over there what other development is really happening? okay so the big one that we're most invested in obviously is um, the Washington is it North Washington Plan or whatever yeah. it's called? Yeah. So we're gonna pop a picture here for you too. But um, they're putting in an amphitheater and like kind of this whole mixed use meaning like retail and fun things like that with like condos slash maybe I don't know duplex. I, we're not exactly sure. Like yeah. it obviously shades it out for us and color coats it. But we just and then yeah. it has little ideas of pictures. But we don't really really know until we get closer. Um, but that's gonna be a big one. So up until recently, that has just been a big old field yeah. and it has been this big really actually fun turn that is just like like what farm field on one side just yeah. random open space on the other now this is affecting a lot of the homeowners up here in the 
the North Erie because yeah. they're like, well, what's going in over there? Is it going to block our beautiful view? Because believe it or not, we still have a view of the mountains yeah. here in Thornton. And so, um, you know, people are watching that pretty closely. But we really do think it's just going to add value to this area because yeah. whether people, as long as it doesn't block too much of people's view, People, people really do like having access and walkability to, you know, restaurants and bars yep. and, you know, fun, like the amphitheater is going to be a big addition up oh, here. Yeah. So um, a quick little fun fact for you, though, too. Chelsea was talking about blocking the views and stuff like that. Top Golf actually got moved. Before, yeah. it was supposed to be just south of where we're at right now on 136th. The neighborhood over there actually sued the city of Thornton, saying that they didn't have the rights to build that there because they kind of they kind of uh, did some back backdoor stuff to change the zoning a little bit. And they sued and they won against the city of Thornton that's so that's crazy. why Top Golf is now on the northernmost part of Thornton. Yeah just north of us um, they put in brand new apartments um, right by kind of this all outdoor shopping you can I don't think you can see it <laughs> I'm gonna show you but all new apartments and they're putting in um, burgers and wing places, a little yeah. coffee shop. Like, I mean, we're getting so much stuff right here. Well, and then Thornton too, what they realize <coughs> is I think they're putting a lot of their efforts and time and money into North Thornton. They're actually going down and doing a revival of South Thornton as well too. Yes. I really don't know what that looks like. It just mentions in the website that they're doing a revival right. of South Thornton. And so it's good to see that they're not just focusing on this northernmost part. They're like, hey, we need to make sure that the rest of the city looks just as nice as this newer portion up here. Um, Larkridge. Lark Ridge, yeah, so Lark Ridge is weird because before like all the development, all the residential development was really happening in North Thornton, you had just this random random, <laughs> random retail center here, yeah. or like what is, what is going on? It's like you know? the perfect location. Yeah, but yeah. It just wasn't, it was so I, I think they time. literally just got ahead of the curve because yeah. it's been there for probably like 15 years and then finally everything's kind of building up to it. Yeah. So now they got the Costco up there. That's where they, they put the top golf. They put a lot of, they're putting a lot of new residential in there. So multifamily style residential. Um, they're also putting a retail center just north of there as well too. So We're Lark Ridge is starting to kind of blow out a little bit, but it was so weird because because you'd be driving through the boonies and I know where you're like, what the heck is this? This random shopping center in the middle of nowhere. And so now it's finally developing around it. So that'll be pretty cool to see what uh, what comes of that. I think that Lark Ridge is just kind of like right on the edge there of blowing up because it's going to be their main shopping center of all those homes. Yeah. And so another thing too about Lark Ridge, which might grow it a little bit, is the fact that Baseline it's right across the highway from it. Yes. And Baseline is this huge development that's going down over in North Broomfield. Everyone's talking about it, how it's gonna be this huge, like just center for everything. They're gonna have hospital systems up there, schools, like all kinds of crazy yeah. stuff. And so since that's across from Lark Ridge, it's, it's definitely right gonna help there. it grow. It's yep. gonna be like two minutes away. Yep. Um, okay. Uh, number five is fun, so if you've stuck around this long, thank you so much. Obviously, we're passionate about where we call home, but we're going to tell you why we chose to call Thornton our home. Yeah, so I mean, the biggest reason being is because guess what? We're in real estate, and we wanted something central. We work a lot of properties up in Fort Collins as well, all the way down south in uh, Castle in Rock. This yeah. is this is pretty central. Well, yeah, and, and west in Boulder as well, too. But I mean, this is super central when it comes to commuting from here, there, wherever, whether it be for real estate or also for what our family wants to do. You say we do want to go to the Denver Zoo or kind of do something downtown we can do that and it's not that far away or say we want to go up to Horsetooth up in Fort Collins where it's just a super quick commute to either one of those spots the other reason that we chose Thornton is because Thornton is all brand new we had a lot of options between new builds yeah and so we had a lot we had Lennar we had Meritage we had um, Fairfield or I mean Richmond yep. we had we didn't have Toll Brothers yet yeah. but then we got it right after but we just had a lot of options for building and Peter <laughs> Peter used to do fix and flips and so we were kind of out of the whole wanting to like redo a house when yep. we finally settled into a home. We wanted a home specifically built for us and I was a little picky around that and I had a lot of options with the, all the different builders up here. So um, that was definitely a, a, a big thing for us. Well and then also too, I mean we've recorded videos in our backyards a few times if you guys have seen those videos. You see the field that we're behind. Yeah, the lot that we were at we waited for the longest time and so of course the location of our house was, the, was one of the biggest reasons why we decide to live whether it be commuting or being next to an open space yeah we have a ton of open space the trail yep. system is supposed to continue um, into some of all this new development yep. so we have this really wonderful trail with three parks on it one two three parks on yep. it um, and it goes straight to the Stargate school um, and so there was a lot of school access there's schools across the street there's schools down the street we weren't sure at the time where our kids were gonna be going to school and we yep. wanted a 
Well, speaking of the heat, <laughs> our camera does not like it. <laughs> so yeah, we're... I decided to shut down. It's like, camera's too hot. And they're like, oh, shit. Switching over so the cell now, phone. So yeah, now we're doing it on the cell phone. We got to wrap this video up, guys. I think we uh, gave you guys a lot of information, but uh, we at least want to finish it now. We want to leave you hanging. Yes, so if you're interested in any other cities or more about Thornton, please yep. comment down below. Reach out to us. We do these videos for you. And of course, if you're looking at purchasing real estate in Colorado, more specifically Thornton, give us a ring at the phone number right below, right below, right there. And until next time, we love you. Bye. Bye. Taking you to our home city, Thornton, and telling you what it's going to... Nope. If you're new, this...